Okay, so I was using this little weensy weensy tiny sand disk uh, 16 gig memory chip and uh, it's the radio can write to it it built its little directory structure on it but uh, the firmware update is not progressing so what I did thinking that it might be uh, a uh, file system issue um, that the radio may not be able to read an NTFS or FAT32 structure so I found this old school piece of junk uh, jump drive so we're gonna try it once more watch the camera shake So let's see here. What should happen is uh, you'll get a message that the firmware uh, uh, is capable of being upgraded. And then, uh, yeah, this message, like we saw before, but uh, what isn't happening is it should change to uh, a little file transfer screen that goes here uh, that in. It's another guy on uh, YouTube, a uh, Italian fella, who's uh, put up this video. But uh, if you don't speak Italian, it's not very interesting. Uh, so I'm just kind of trying to uh, get this out here. Just a little one gig drive. There's no uh, activity on this. Usually, you'd see a light flashing right about here if there was something going on. Well, I guess I'm going to try connecting the USB cable to it and see what I can get from there. So, what I've done now, let's see the Radio is in receive mode, waiting for the file. I've got it plugged in and over here at my desk. Uh, the TS990 shows up as a hard drive here. So, what I do is uh, open that guy up and then take the entire firmware file here and just drag it into there. And look at that. All right. So I guess the uh, issue is the uh, radio can't read from a USB thumb drive. So we'll just pull that guy out. Which is weird because you're supposed to be able to. So anyway, here we go. This looks better. Okay, so it looks like we're done now. So uh, basically you just turn it off. And we'll fire it back up. All right, so we're back in action. No idea what happened. 
So. I think it takes over 40 seconds for it to boot from dead cold uh, when you first power it on if you don't, if you turn the, uh, the switch on the back off. Why well, just leave it on? It's the whole thing. Yeah, that's certainly an approach. It's just cool. All right, well, I don't see anything that's particularly changed, but uh, fair enough. Well, uh, that's the way to go do it. Um, the little side note there is uh, you, at least I was unable to use the uh, USB ports here to update this guy, so you got to go ahead and use the USB connected to your computer and uh, don't forget to download the USB driver from Kenwood as well uh, that'll make installing it much easier so uh, hope this works out for you guys 73's